Welcome to Flux. In this short video, we will present the Flux environment. The Flux window environment and the steps you will follow to set up a simulation are presented in the video. The steps are building the geometry, generating the mesh, defining the physics, solving the problem, and finally displaying the results. Here we are in the Flux supervisor. To see the useful commands in the main supervisor, view the Getting Started video. For this example, we open a new project in 2D. We enter the Flux 2D environment, and more precisely, in the Sketcher context, which is dedicated to geometry building. In 3D, you will find an equivalent context called Modeler Context. In fact, the first step in Flux is to create the geometry of the device. Once you have created the geometry in Sketcher, you can close the Sketcher. Now, we are in the Flux standard context, where you can follow the project definition. Before going through the next steps, let's review the Flux environment. In Flux, the different commands can be launched in three different ways. The first way is through the menu. It is the most complete in terms of commands. In fact, it contains all entity creation options, or commands, but also contains diverse algorithm commands like checking the geometry, deleting the mesh, and others. The menu changes depending on the step you are working on. Here, we have all the commands for geometry and mesh, but not for physics. You have to define a physical application to see all of the physics commands. In the same way, to see the post-processing commands, you have to solve your project. In this example, we can create a geometric parameter through the geometry panel. The second way is through the icons. The displayed icons correspond to the step you are performing. The step can be switched through this button. Here we are in the geometry step, so the icons correspond to geometry actions. We can switch to the mesh step to find all mesh icons. To have access to physics and solving icons, you must create a physical application. Here, we create a geometric parameter by clicking on the icon. The third way to launch the commands in Flux is through the data tree. Here, you will find all the created entities like points, lines, mesh parameters, and voltage source, among other entities. You can perform all actions on entities through the data tree. To follow the same example, to create a geometric parameter, we right-click on Geometric Parameter. As in the icons, to create physical entities, you must define the physical application. In the Flux window, we have two areas below the graphical area. The first one, called Output, is where you can find all the log data such as error messages, warning messages, but also information about the actions executed by Flux. Below the Output, you have the Python command area dedicated to manage Python commands. In the left area, you can launch command by command. In the middle area, you can manage Python files by opening or creating them. And in the area on the right, you have access to the Flux log files, which exist in your working directory. The first one is updated at each Flux window opening. The second one contains all the actions executed from the project creation. Now, let's look through an example to better understand. We will use the Actuator Basic example, which is available with more details in the Flux Starting Guide interface. Here, we have a project where the geometry has been done in the modeler context. To complete geometry definition, we can create an infinite box. 
This is done through the menu. The data tree. Or the icon. Here we see the project with the infinite box defined. To mesh it, we can launch Mesh Domain from the Mesh menu or through the icons. For that, you have to switch this button to the Mesh step and then click the icon. This command is not available in the data tree as it is not a command on an entity. Now we have the project meshed and we want to define the physical data. To have access to all the physical commands, but also solving commands, we have to define a physical application, which is possible only through the menu. After that, we can see that the menu and the data tree change. We can switch this button to the physical and solving step. So now we can define the physics and the solving through one of the three ways. Through the menu, you will use the physics and solving menus. Through the data tree, you'll use physics and solver categories. Through the icons, you will switch to the physical and solving step to use the associated icons. Once the project is solved, you can see that the menu has changed. The geometry, mesh, and physics menu have disappeared, and now we have new menus to post process. We see the button to switch from one flux step to another has disappeared and all the icons correspond to the post-processing commands. Now you can post-process through the menu, data tree, or icons.